In the pit, episode 43, Austin's finally got his shit together. Blossos. Hey, Case, what's going on, buddy? What's up, man? What's going on? It's good to see you. Let's go! Let's fucking have a fucking episode! What's up, guys? Welcome to In the Pit. Hey, good morning, guys. We got a lot to talk about today. Ugh. We do. We got a lot to talk about. A lot, a lot. You know what I want to talk about first? What? I want to talk about the fucking uh, Titans game. Let's talk about that game first. Nailed the pick. He nailed it. I'm shocked the Bills fucking lost that game. Not only, out. not only am I shocked they lost the game, I'm shocked they got blown out. The Titans haven't been in their facility for like two weeks. They haven't played a game in almost two weeks, and they Bro, come man. out and they fucking blow the fucking doors off, make Josh Allen look like a fucking kitty. 42-16. It's great for New England. 42-16? Tell you one thing, Buffalo uh, didn't look that powerful last night. A little wow. overrated, some may say. Mm, they could say it. And I'll tell you one thing, New England... Is very much in play for this fucking division. Anybody who thinks the Bills, division. if if people fucking say the Bills have it this year, please got like a third of their team out with fucking coronavirus and they still fucking kick Derek their ass. Derrick Henry's throwing their guys all over the field. You see a stiff arm? Yeah, he's fucking the mammoth. I want to start the show. We'll, we'll talk about Dwight Howard releases private messages. We got Dan Diego. Do you hear about him? Who the hell's Dan Diego? Slam Diego? He's an outfielder and he got stabbed. Oh, the plum, plan, funk. What, what his name is? Fam. P H A M, right? Tommy Fam? He said Dan Diego. Yeah, isn't his name Fam? P H A M? His name's Dan Diego. Didn't they have a thing on there that said <laughs> P H got stabbed? He's in good condition. He plays for the Padres. Are we not talking about the same guy? You know I, I Padre, have Tommy you? Fam. Yeah, Tommy Fam. He got you got stabbed? stabbed? Yes. You got stabbed. Look it up. <laughs> I had Dan Diego got stabbed. Look it up. Did they both get stabbed? <laughs> Maybe they stabbed each other. <laughs> Tommy Pham stabbed. Thank you. That was San Diego. Oh, he, he, Diego. he meant to say San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> Fucking told you. Holy shit. Holy shit is right. Oh, I'd like to uh, comment on some things at the end of this uh, show about some things that are starting to creep up that Big Nick was right about. <laughs> I think I need to really, really consider getting into the fucking betting psychological games of mind games. So we got uh, Tommy Pham. He got stabbed. By Dan Diego. <laughs> then we got NFL season MVP candidates. We could talk about the MB- um, MLB games too, you know. Let's definitely talk about MLB too. All right, so we, we, are, we go with the Bills. We talk about them. We already started that. We might as well f- we, we go with that one. Yeah, let's finish okay. that. Okay. All right. <laughs> a couple of weeks, they come up to Foxborough and they play the Patriots. Oh, yeah. Look forward to that game. They got destroyed. blown out. They got destroyed. I mean, the Titans are good. Yes. You see the Jets release Le'Veon Bell? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 talk about a fucking disaster going on. In fucking they called every team to try and trade. Nobody wanted him. Nobody, well, do you want to know why they didn't want him? Because they would have to pay him $6 million the rest of it's guaranteed this year. And then he has an $8 million guaranteed injury-prone so if he gets hurt either this year or next year, you'd have to pay him $8 million next year, and they think he'd get hurt based on his injuries in the past, and so nobody wanted to do it. That's why nobody took him. So now the Jets are on the books for it? Now the Jets are on the books for it. So you're telling me that people are going to wait a year so they don't have to pay that 8 mil? So he won't get picked up next no, year? No, he can get picked no, up not, this year. Now he can get picked up now because Without that 8, the eight mil? Yeah, because now it's irrelevant because he got cut. Uh, okay. I'm saying that if, he, if, it, if somebody traded for him and he got hurt this year, like, say the Patriots traded for him. And let's say Le'Veon Bell in his first game tore his ACL. Yeah. The Patriots would be on the books for the rest of his money this year and the $8 million next year. Nobody wow. wants to be on the books for $8 million. I can see that. Baltimore snagging him. You know, Baltimore? You know who I see snagging him? Patriots. Seattle. Why Seattle? Because they're Super Bowl contenders. They could use another running back. He wouldn't have to be the main guy. Patriots could use a running back. They don't fucking need a running back, and they're not going to pay him anyway. Yeah, we do. Who do you? You got Damian Harris. You got Rex Burkhead. You got James White. Who the fuck else? Michelle. Do you need? I'll be back. Yeah, they need to step it up. I, mean, I would hate on the deal, but I just don't see that happening. All right, Dwight mm-hmm. Howard. <clears throat> what does Dwight Howard want? Following the Lakers head. win against the Chicago. You hear? Is hear anything <clears throat> about this? No. No. Following the Lakers win against the Chicago Bulls to seal the chip. Dwight went live on Insta. While on live, he Chicago could be... Bulls. What? You said Chicago Bulls. Oh, he didn't play the Chicago Bulls. Play for the Lakers just now. You know? No, following the Lakers win. They played the fucking. 
Did you write Don't it tell wrong? me. They played the Heat. Yeah, Miami Heat. There you go. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> so while on live, he could be seen jumping up and down celebrating them, but then he would accidentally click off the live, revealing the private messages between him and his girlfriend, Taya Cooper, of the Los Angeles Sparks. Revealed messages sent to Dwight regarding that his girlfriend believes that he has been unloyal to her with other friends, but to turn up tonight, have fun, to which Howard responds, which friends? So this turned into like him sharing the screen? By accident. How do you do that on Instagram Live? He clicked off of the live, but then it just showed like, I don't know. Well, let's see it. Well, that's just, that's just some drama bullshit. We don't do drama in the fucking pit. That's all we do. No, we fucking don't. That's what you do. Let's talk about Tommy Pham. <laughs> Tommy! Right. What's going on, buddy? All right, Dan Diego. Stabs him. <laughs> Broad daylight. All right, Tommy Pham. Authorities say the Pham was stabbed around 10.30 p.m. outside of the Pacers Showgirls International Gentlemen's Club. Uh, Witnesses say go. the engagement after, happened after Pham saw a couple people arguing by his car, and after asking the couple to move away from his car, he was stabbed in the lower back. Doctors say that he is in good condition and expected to fully recover. See, this is what's wrong with America. He asked nicely just to get away from his guy. Not trying to get involved. He's just trying to get away. And you stab the fucking guy because he's fucking asking you to get away from his guy? That the fuck's wrong with people? That's fucked up. That's the fuck's fucked wrong up. with people? Gentlemen's yeah, I mean, he club. shouldn't be at the gentleman's club that late at night. Do you ever hear the wise tale, nothing good happens after 1030 at night? I thought it was midnight. Things after 1030. Yes, ask, I guess. <laughs> We'll, di we'll agree to disagree. Uh, no, we'll look it up. I mean, you could look it up. I'm just saying at 10.30, shit starts fucking banging. You can look it up. I'm just saying it's 10.30. <laughs> you can look it up, but I'm just telling you. Big oh, it says 2 a.m. Did you see the Lakers left Quinn Cook at the arena? No. Did they really? Yeah. Hilarious. He hops on the Instagram Live <laughs> and says, make a U-turn. The team left him at the arena. They're, they're uh, J.R. Smith on Instagram Live from the bus. They're Everyone's on away. Instagram Live. They're driving away. He goes, make a U-turn. He goes, I just got a uh, ring and I got to walk back. What the fuck is this? Prior LeBron said, get me back to my hotel so I can drink all my wine. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the new god. Fuck you, LeBron. I fucking can't wait till you retire. All right, let's talk about, um, let's talk about the baseball games. Rays look good. Their outfielders look good. They have a lot I mean, of yeah, you're up 3 0. You're one game away from the World Series. I mean, yeah. they, their they, outfielders they, look good? Oh, yeah. What were they doing? They're making some around. impressive. They some really good catches yeah. last night. Some impressive diving catches. Let me try to find those for you. Well, what was the final? 5 2. I mean, the Astros blew some fucking. blew some attempts to get the lead back. No trash cans. No trash cans. No sign stealing. Here, Meyer. Yeah, this is the catch I saw. Oh yeah, so it was, he robbed Bregman. And That's Bregman, great. Yeah, and he was heated. And Bregman's having some like tough time with like, or he's having bad luck. I don't know. Center field. Kiermaier drifting back. Ball's carrying. And I don't know if that was robbed. Makes the play. It was a hell of a catch. So the Rays look good. What did you guys have for your picks? Let's take a look at that. I think I had the Astros in six, which that gets thrown out the window now because they'd literally have to win every single game now. Um, the NLCS? I had the Dodgers in six, I think, too, yeah. which that still could work. They would just have to win every single game. Well, I had the Braves in seven. I had the Braves in six. ALCS, Nick Rays in six. Will Rays in five. Casey Rays in five. And who First else? shot gets scratched. Shocker. Scratch from the start. Oh, okay. This is all right. We're going to talk about this now before Big I forget. Big game, Clayton. <laughs> this is before I forget. Do you remember a long time ago when we were talking when the season first got started, when everybody gave me shit, including my man Dakota, about how Clayton Kershaw should be the opening day starter, not Walker Bueller? Yep, I do. Yeah. Remember this? Yeah. Who started game one? Bueller. Yeah. Okay, and they won. Or, they didn't win, no, but he didn't. started. <laughs> he started over Kershaw. Okay, what's your point? I think I made my point. Kershaw, I mean, uh, Walker Buehler started game one. Your best pitcher starts game one. Walker Buehler started game one. Game okay. two, 
Kershaw's, Kershaw's on the shelf. Scratched. He's down at Orchard Spa with Kraft. Getting a little massage. Orchards of Asia. Why do Orchards get, of Asia. Why do you get scratched? Back spasms because his back can't ever get right. Are you fucking kidding me? These guys make all this money in the world. They can't fucking get themselves fucking fixed. Blows my fucking mind. Yeah, if I had that kind of money, I'd fucking have a masseuse on my back fucking 24-7 if I wasn't lifting weights. Sad <laughs> man. I, every damn day. Wow. Every damn day. Yeah, so, the, yeah, so they lost again. I mean, 7-6? Yeah. 8-7. Seven, 8-7? Seven. Eight, seven. Eight, seven. Yeah. So I'm just saying, Big Nick was right about that one. Kershaw's not the guy. It's Walker Buehler. Nah, you were right now. You, I do remember you saying something about injuries, too. And I was right about that, too. You know what else I was right about? What happened with the White Sox? Remember I said I wasn't a fan of Rick Renteria? What happened to Rick Renteria? Ricky. He got fired. Did he? Yes. The got, White Sox? He got fired. The manager got fired, and I told you I wasn't a fan of him. I told you. On the I record. I fucking told you that. You did. Damn. You said that on the record. I fucking told you that. And I'm going to make a bold prediction for you. You know who's going to be the new manager of the White Sox? Oh. Alex Cora. What? You said he was coming back to Boston. Yeah, I'm saying if he doesn't come back to Boston. Right Dakota, Dakota's Dodgers. Dakota, your Dodgers ain't looking that good, boy. What the hell's going on? I had them winning the World Series this year. You're not making me fucking look good over here. No, too good to be true. I think Dakota needs a pitch game three. Dakota? Hey. Fucking let, have, him throw like a, have him throw that gazelle-like fucking frame out there and have him freaking pitch. Did you guys see the video of the cougar? No. Cougar. <laughs> Guys hiking in Utah, going on a run. Broad daylight. Holy shit. You realize that thing ever wanted to come out of him? He's done. It's done. It's done. He knows it. No, go away. Go you came close. No. Could you imagine that thing doing that? He's probably just chasing him off far enough uh -huh. until he was like, all right. I wanted to quickly talk about NFL MVP candidates. Obviously, it's early, but we got Russell Wilson, 72.8% completion, 1,500 yards, 19 TDs, three interceptions. We got Josh Allen, 70.9% completion, 1,326 yards, 12 TDs, one interception. Patrick Mahomes, 63.7% completion, 1,474 yards, 13 TDs, and one interception. Too early in the season. That's the top three? Yeah. As of now, it's Wilson. Hands down. They're undefeated, right? Yeah. I mean, their defense isn't really good. And he's just carrying the team. Yeah. Still should have lost to the Patriots. Still should have lost to the Patriots. All right. I'm going Wilson as of now. All right. That's all we got for in the pit today. Make sure to send in your advice to Casey at Lumberland.com. What we got on the record coming on Sundays. We got... Yeah, snack time coming. Oh yeah, we got snack time. We had snack time last night. We got another snack time coming tomorrow night. We might have an office games because we didn't have one on Monday, but alright, we'll keep you guys posted. Have a good day. See ya. That's a wrap.